The Labour Party has not had an easy week framing a response to the Paris attacks, but the Shadow Chancellor, John MacDonald, is hoping to move on from that, from the clarifications and corrections that have been made over what is and what isn't the policy on terrorism, and from exchanges of insults between senior party members. And he's made a speech on his economic policy today. Socialism with an iPad is the striking phrase from it. John MacDonald is with us. Very good evening, and thanks evening. for coming in. Socialism with an iPad. iPad, made by Apple, is manufactured in uh, China, outsourced to China, uh, not considered a very socialist company. Are you a great admirer of Apple and the iPad? No, it's the sort of company we want to engage with, though, and in a way we can reform it from within virtually about making sure they have worker representation, democracy within its own company and investing in the future. So it's the sort of company we want to work with but transform. So if you were, if, if I had, if there was a British, if there was a British Apple mm. or there was a, Apple said by chance that it wanted to move to the UK, it wouldn't be able to operate on the kind of same terms it's been operating in California. Well, what we'd expect is a relationship with the company where we're saying, look, we want you to invest in the long-term future, invest in the skills of your work, the skills of your workforce, invest in the long term in this country, but also involve your workers in the decision-making processes, make sure you're part of the community. So we want to ensure that we're attracting the right investment. Do you think Steve Jobs created Apple by doing all the things you talked about, or did he invest well, in what he saw in his vision of the long term, rather in, than your well, vision of the long well, term? Well, what's interesting in Apple <laughs> is that they started off with a half a million dollar grant off uh, the state, and they had a relationship with the state and developed in that way, and I think that's the way we want to relate to businesses. I think now businesses are increasingly now looking for the long term future, right. and that means working with their workforce. Now, you, um, in your speech today, proposed an innovation policy council with business unions and scientists yes. on it. Um, is that how Silicon Valley created iPads and Apples and Googles and it's all it, things well, it has? It just Well, it is true that the relationship between the state and the private companies in America was significant. A lot of the early work, research work, was done as a result of government funding and as a, gov a result of the government relationship. And, and the universities. Yes, well. of course. Yeah, and yeah, Obama yeah. has been very clear with these companies. When they want to develop in, in his country, he'll, he'll pressurise them into long-term investment. We've never had that strategic state in this but, country. But, 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 but it's a very brutal process that goes on in Silicon Valley, isn't it? It's, it's one where you have self-employed people, for example, yes. trying to make a life for themselves. You implied in your speech today you don't terribly like self-employed. No, that's not it, true. No, you didn't hear you, it properly. Well, you didn't hear it properly. What we were saying is there's a real fragility about self-employment and we want to give them more security. So we want to ensure, for example, they have access to maternity pay, paternity pay. Just because you're self-employed doesn't mean to say you shouldn't have the so same protection. So on that specific one, you would expect them to pay the same national insurance as everybody else, would we'd, you? We'd look at a relationship which... Well, you wouldn't give them equal benefits well, no, without their ta equal their tax, tax would Their taxation would be in proportion to the benefits they receive, right, but right. it's not that expensive, to be right. frank. Right. But your but your the basic point the basic point is is that it's brutal, and the fragility that you say self-employment creates is actually part of the dynamism. Well, I, I don't think I don't think it has to be brutal. I think if you long-term plan your investment strategy, you work together in common objectives. I think you can succeed, and that's what's happened elsewhere. The point I was trying to make today is that we've got to choose about our future now. And I think our, we've got a huge financial centre here. I want us to be the technology centre of Europe as well. High skills, high pay, what pay. In the end, that means high investment in our economy. Right. Can we talk about uh, other things that have happened sure. this week? You've had a, 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 a bad week in a way because it was revealed you'd been posing with a document. It was the Socialist Network oh, Manifesto yeah. and the election campaign. We're not talking about 2001. Oh, here. No, We're talking about this thing, this year. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And it proposed disbanding MI5, disarming the police, expropriating the banks. You, you will clarify now, you don't believe no, those things. No, of course things. not. Of course not. Look, yeah. what happened was, is a group of youngsters put together a statement on anti-austerity, which I signed. They came along to my constituency and they said, will you be photographed with us? I did. Gave me a document and I thought it was the anti-austerity one. It wasn't. It was another statement of policies they were discussing. It was a cock-up. Look, Right. So, I, so I am not in favour of abandoning, uh, scrapping MI5. My brother was a police officer for 35 years. He was responsible for royal protection in our area. I know exactly the risks they take and I know the job they serve. That's why I support can, them. Can you tell me whether you, in the realm of how you might assess a policy, yes. 
disbanding MI5. It was bomb. Is that that's bonkers with a capital B? Yes, in of your course view. it is, and that's why I wouldn't support so it. So you Never, were hanging out with people not, who were bonkers no, with a capital these B. These were young people thrashing around with ideas which I never even knew they were doing. You were but at the meeting afterwards. where a lot of this was no, drawn up in I January. No, I wasn't. I spoke at the beginning of the, I spoke at the beginning of the meeting on the austerity, signed that, and left. What was really nice this week is those young people put out a statement and said, look, John never signed this. He left the meeting before we discussed it. And I, they weren't setting me up or anything. It was just a mistake. It was a cock-up. But on and those... That, let, let me sorry, say this just, week... OK, go, yes, just on that very specific point, when you denied that you'd had anything to do with this I week, hadn't seen the that thing. was because you hadn't understood that you had had anything to I, do with I it. hadn't you seen had the thing. I didn't realise that I'd been given the wrong document. It was a cock-up. Let me just say on this MI5 thing, this week, the government came forward with its proposal to increase the security services. I wrote to George Osborne, and I raised it in the House of Commons as well, so the Labour Party will back you all the way on this. But in addition to that, I said, we'll also back you if you review the policing cuts, and we'll, we'll also back you if you take it outside the fiscal mandate. You can see why people might be confused, of course, can't you? Yeah, because you chose to pose with those people. You wanted to win left-wing votes in the election campaign. Well, they were, and, and then, of course, you of end course. up look, having it, to reap the, re the, the reward of course of posing it was, look, with... It, the, look, okay. it was a cock-up by right. holding okay, it up it there. But up. These youngsters were having a debate about these issues. I disagree with them on that issue, but I never even knew they'd done it right. on that document. So there have been a number of cock-ups this week. How would you rate your party's response to these momentous events in Paris that we could go? I think in the debates that we've had in the floor of the House of Commons now, we back the government 100% in terms of increasing the investment in intelligence services. We've been stronger on policing, and we've said to them, you, to keep our communities safe, you cannot go ahead with the policing cuts you're planning. So we've said we'll support them if they review those policing cuts, and we've also support them if they take them outside their financial constraints. I think we've been strong on that. We've made it clear with regard to the metropolitan policing of our, of our streets that we support them in terms of their proportionate use of force and, yes, if necessary, lethal force. All the way along now, we've clarified our position. But you've had to clarify your position, haven't it's you? Been, it's been all over the place. Come on. No, it's, 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 it's there's been, been, there's been, the there's been errors made in how we communicate our position and we've rectified that. These things happen. Look, the Conservative parties a few weeks ago were going through exactly the same problems. You know, we had allegations about the Prime Minister and the cadaver of a dead animal. We had George Osborne oh. being defeated in the House of Lords. We had them being attacked on the Europe, European issue as well. They had a rough week. Events happen in politics. We're now in a position where the public know we stand for their safety. You, you stand accused sometimes of being a party under this leadership, that dabbles in student politics that isn't grounded in reality. We see you posing with students, holding up their manifesto. We see the leader of the party having to clarify his position on whether it's okay to shoot terrorists who have Kalashnikovs and are killing people. You can see why people don't yet know whether this yeah. is a party that is yeah. for I government or for protest, can't you? I understand that. We've been in position seven weeks, and you learn an awful lot during that period. And what we've been trying to do is make sure people are clear on where we stand. Occasionally, occasionally that will go wrong, and we've had a rough week. But as I said, the Conservatives had one only three weeks ago as well. We're coming out of that week, learned a lot of lessons, learned an awful lot of lessons about being clear on wh where we stand and communicating that. But in addition to that, I think engaging more with people as well and listening to people better, you learn these lessons quickly. John McDonnell, thank you very much thank indeed. You.